Butterfly FPV, why don't you fly with two blade propellers? I've been asked this question many times, especially in connection with the Meteor 75 Pro from Beta FPV. That's why I bought the HQ Prop 45mm two blade props and tested them for a while. And to put it briefly, my conclusion remains the same as before the test. Two blade propellers are not suitable for racing unless your tiny whoop is ultra lightweight. And by ultra light, I mean pushing minimal weight to the absolute maximum. For all other racing builds, two blade props just don't make sense. Let me explain why. There are three main reasons from my point of view. One, noise and sound profile. Two blade props are louder and have a more aggressive sound. As a whoop racer who often trains in public spaces, I want my whoop to be as quiet as possible. Two, thrust and throttle response. Two blade props provide less thrust and also respond more slowly to throttle input. Thrust builds up faster with three blade props. There are many technical factors at play here, which I won't go into in this video, but generally speaking, two blade props deliver less thrust in the lower RPM range, at least in my experience. As a racer, what matters to me is strong, low to mid-range thrust. Top speed is only of secondary importance. That's why three blade props are ideal for racing in my opinion. Three, yaw axis control. Yaw rotation on a quadcopter is achieved by increasing the RPM of two same direction propellers and reducing the RPM of the other two. This change in rotational speed creates a torque that moves the quad on its yaw axis. The higher the propeller's mass, the more torque is generated. Since two blade props have less mass, their yaw authority is weaker and so is the responsiveness of the yaw axis. Yaw is heavily used in racing, so having a responsive yaw axis is a big advantage. In this video, you can see me flying the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro with GNB1 SHV 380mAh 90C LiPos combined with the HQ Prop 45mm two blade propellers. After a short adjustment phase, the two blade props fly reasonably well with these lightweight batteries but it never truly feels like flying with three blade props. For me, three blade props remain the best compromise for racing. I hope this video helped clarify why I no longer fly with two blade propellers. If you have any questions, feel free to write me in the comments. Also, check out my other videos and the video description. You'll find some useful links there. Happy flying, my whoop friends. You gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Right. Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. That's not what I was told. And maybe you need a new lesson. Repeat after me. Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It means no worries.
you gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Right. Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Well, that's not what I was told. And maybe you need a new lesson. This video is part of a short video series where I try to share my experiences with the Meteor 75 Pro with you as well as all my Whoop knowledge. I'll try to show you valuable tips and tricks that should help you with the Meteor 75 Pro Whoop as well as with other tiny Whoops. Check out the other videos on my channel to get the most out of my many years of Whoop race and RC flying experience. Happy flying my Whoop friends!